Hi friends, so this is our third video. We have already installed MIUI 6. So today we will see how we can install Android 5.0.2 that is by Ivan. I have already downloaded the ROM and the link for the same is given in the description. I have attached this little USB with my phone in which I have that ROM. So let us see. Here is Explorer and uh, here is a USB option so here is that from AOSP Canstro 5.2.10 that is our latest build and uh, now we need to flash this just switch off UMI 3 Now boot into recovery mode that is by pressing the power and volume up button. So now as we need to flash this ROM, this ROM I would suggest you to format your system. Okay let's do that. Here's the system one. So let us check which system is active. Active system is two. We need to go back. Manage system. System two. We need to format the system. Go to mount and storage. Here you will find format system. Yes, format. The benefit of formatting is that uh, you will not face any kind of problems when you install the new ROM. So we'll try to format both the systems because if we don't format both the systems uh, we can face application problems or some kind of force close or some kind of random reboots. But as the latest build by Ivan give, uh, fixes that random reboot problems so we don't want any kind of problems. So we will format this system and we need to wait for some minutes. So now the system is formatted. Just go back wipe data is yes, wipe all user data so whenever you try to install a new rom try to make a clean install so that you can't face any kind of problems so now the data is also wiped, wipe cache, as we have formatted the system so wiping data and cache are taking less time but still you need to do this. So the cache is also wiped. So now we are in system 2, right? Go to advanced and active system 1. Go back, manage and storage. Oops, do one thing manage system, system 1, right? Now go to mountain, mountain storage. Now format system system 1 right
yes the system is formatted go back wipe data now wipe cache partition okay so now our active system is one and uh, we are managing system one only right now let's install this room install zip choose zip from otg so here is aosp cancero 5.2.10 yes install so the installation part is already started the room size is almost around 250 mb so it will take a less time to install yes install from sd card complete now go back and mind it our active system is system 1 go back reboot system now system 1 root ss possibly lowest fix no we'll root it separately just click on no root ss is missing for system 2 again click on no let it simply reboot so as it is the first reboot after the installation of rom it may take 4 5 minutes right another thing is that this rom is without google apps the reason behind this is because the uh, the rom without gapps has the feature of deep sleep deep sleep option which is not available in the download package uh, with gapps so how so i have downloaded this package that is without the gapps as you can see a system is booting as we can see that the lollipop update by the official MIUI may take some time so this is the stepping stone that Ivan is giving us so great and good rooms and uh, one thing more I have heard is that this room is uh, really stable so you can use it as a daily driver As I removed the USB unexpectedly, so it is giving me a message that USB storage unexpectedly removed. No issues. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Let's remove it. And, uh, okay. Great vibrations. So in settings. NFC turn it off it will consume battery storage okay as apps are taking 121 MB my music player with audio files is of 4.58 GBs okay no issues so go to about phone Android version is 5.0.2 click on it slowly pip slowly pop base room this is a build number twelve per options is pretty bugging for vibration for that um, let's go to file explorer and uh, here we have internal storage and usb storage so in my usb we have that update super user su now we need to root this version 
right so before this i have downloaded the application root checker just click on it verify root sorry this device does not have root access now power off Input for recovery. So in system one, install zip, choose zip from USB storage, and this is update super user SU. Is installed. Install from SD complete. Mm -hmm. Go back, reboot system, click on no, again click on no, as I am using the custom recovery that is 6.0.5.0 by 1 so you can use any recovery and uh, the functions perform similarly. So now we'll see here is a super user application that is installed itself because we have flashed that zip file. Let's click on it. Uh, no thanks. So this is like this. Okay. Now just go to root checker. Verify root. This is very Grant the permission. Congratulations, this device has root access now. So this is how we can root this version. So now the phone is already rooted. This device has root access. So the download links for the room are already given in this group. Now the phone is also rooted as we have flashed that zip file and uh, here are some of the applications and the interface this is the dialer interface and uh, this is contacts interface and this is a stock browser right. And these are the applications, the calculator, the old calendar app, the clock, and uh, this is the application I downloaded that is CPUZ, and uh, as you can see that. CPU 1 and CPU 2 are stopped because they are indeed not needed at this time only CPU 0 and CPU 3 they are working at 300 to 600 megahertz so all and on good so this is android version 5.0.2 and uh, yes one thing one thing uh, you can see the free Total RAM is 1849 and the free RAM is almost 921 that is almost 49% of the total RAM and uh, if you format the systems completely so from the internal storage that is 12.45 you will get about 97% as free storage and root access yes, it has root access so these are the sensors currently working and uh, this is a file file explorer you get internal storage so and if you connect your USB it will show the option and uh, this is the gallery how it looks these are some of the camera pictures I've taken with the stock camera app but some users have also reported that 
the third party camera applications do not work well so I cannot confirm about that as I have not used and only used the stock camera app these are the screenshots I've taken and uh, this is the settings so this is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth on off storage is this and this is the game you can play yes so that's all but this is a version without the G apps and for G apps you need to install all the Google related applications like Google Play services and uh, Google accounts manager Google Play APK then it will work fine for you but some of the users have reported that deep sleep function is not working in in the uh, but this is a version without the G apps because some users have reported that the version with G apps does not have deep sleep option so I downloaded this and flash this so I hope that's it and uh, you can use it as a daily driver one thing that I hate is whenever a new version of the ROM comes you need to download the complete file and then flash it again but I think in about phone there should be an option like for updates and the update we can do we should be able to update from the ROM itself 